So the culture, I know it has evolved throughout us owning the business. I know mm. just recently it has become a culture of accountability. Mm. And that's something that I know we're pushing for everyone to have. And then also within ourselves. Yeah. The accountability. And accountability doesn't mean that we're strict, that we're just pushing people to work it's just being accountable for your work mm -hmm. how's it going everyone welcome back to another episode of driven in today's episode we're going to be discussing how we're building our company culture from event to event yeah and so for those that don't know us my name is juan this is my brother lexus and in 2019 together we started a business that currently does a run rate of roughly three million over three million dollars a year so i feel like up to that point uh we kind of have an idea of what we're talking about yep and Going back to the topic, I know it's building your company culture from event to event. So just so everyone's on the same page, what's company culture? Because you yeah. hear a lot of people throw those words out. Yeah, so pretty much the company culture encompasses everything and the people that are in the culture. It, from my, from let's just say our definition, because I know uh, words and phrases are defined differently and certain, uh, you know, yep. differently. Uh, but in essence for us, it's, Pretty much like the work ethic of the people, the mm -hmm. attitude of the people, how people get along, the characters. the characters. So it's pretty much like, you know, everything that encompasses the entirety of the of the people and how the company is or is ran or behaves. Yeah, because one example, I know that, like you mentioned, it encompasses everything because a company culture could be very fun, but a lot of people are having fun, so they're not getting their work done. Yep. And then another aspect of it is uh, the company culture could be very hardworking, very, you know, just like I have a goal to reach, let's hit it. But then it's very, it's just that there's no yeah. like, collaboration. There's there's a lot of selfishness, even turnover, yeah, turnover. Like people, like, but it's a hardworking, um, you know, like goal reaching company culture. Yeah. And I guess you would say that just going back to it, you would say that the company culture, that the way we're defining it is everything, whether uh, everything in terms of their attitude, their collaboration, their work, and then the environments. And some people would call it their vibes, the vibes. Yeah, in the essence. Vibe. Yeah, okay. In essence, and uh, and I guess like from what you've seen, how do you, what do you think the company culture is? I think people are gonna say I'm biased, but I think it's great mm -hmm. because I worked at other companies where the company culture is really good, it's fun. Like the, the work environment, there's a lot of, uh, in Spanish, they say tirando madre or mm -hmm. um, uh, not piropos. I forgot. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of like going back and forth. There's mm -hmm. a lot of camaraderie, but then really like the work doesn't. It never got done. Like mm -hmm. especially at the market, it was just like you know I'm just taking my time. I'm just chilling. Yeah. So that that was one aspect. And then I also worked at Fashion Nova, the warehouse, mm. the warehouse where it was just like freaking quick. It was yeah. like. The first day, these are the numbers you have to hit. If you don't hit them, you're out. And that was because I went through an agency. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't directly employed through them, but it was through an agency. And it was, fu it sucked. Mm. Another side is like, I, I used to work at this. Uh, beauty gym? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't want to say the oh, name. Oh, okay. Well, I... Yeah. This beauty company where they sold makeup. Uh, the environment was cool. It was a small company, but then the owners they were freaking like strict in the in the sense of like you need to get your work done if you don't then you know there's consequences to it at mm -hmm. the same time i know that i used to clock in and then when it was time to clock out we were clocked out automatically mm -hmm. so i'm like it was more of a culture of like strict 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 and I, I that's why i say that you know the company culture that we're we're building in the company i think it's the best i've worked at so far and I would agree with that because like, and so then what are some of the things that you would say that make it great? I think it's the people. Okay. The people. What, what about the people? Like, what would you say about the people? Well, if you look at the people that are working here, I don't think anyone has any problems with each other. No, no. So there's no, no uh, issues with that. There's a lot of collaboration. I don't think people are selfish the way people are, you know, they're friendly without being fake. Mm -hmm. I was saying. Yeah. So that's what I mean about like the people, like the yeah. actual people. It's like, I'm not scared or mm. I'm not just kind of like, damn, I don't want to ask him a question because of yeah. X, Y, and Z. Because yeah. I worked at some jobs like, you know, certain people are scary or certain yeah. people are just assholes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'd rather not ask him a question. I'll try mm -hmm. to figure it out on my, on my own. Yeah. So that's what I mean about the people. Mm. Okay. And then uh, 
so that's part of the people but how do you see the like the the work itself because i like it could be very fun it could be very amical it could be like an nice like i know that i worked at a company that was to an extent kind of like that where everything was you know everyone was chill with each other and there was no real big issues or anything like that but the work itself it sucked like we had to hire like you know or they had to hire like several people in mm. order to get the job done of probably what i think one two people max would get done uh, there was no accountability. There was no goals. We just got in there to just work and get whatever we could done. Yep. So that was a culture over there. Like, but what what do you think about when it comes to the work itself here? Like getting the work that needs to be done for the business to continue operating. Like, how do you see that part? So the culture I know it has evolved throughout us owning the business. I know mm. just recently it has become a culture of accountability, mm. and that's something that I know we're pushing for everyone to have and then also within ourselves yeah the accountability and accountability doesn't mean that we're strict that we're just pushing people to work it's just being accountable for your work mm -hmm. if you have if you're in a certain department that department has goals yeah that we're gonna reach yep and uh yeah so that i would say that the company's culture has become a culture of accountability mm -hmm. while also having the the fun side yeah yeah so de definitely because I, I know like I, I think for at least for our business i think to succeed i think it needs to have a combination of both and okay it could succeed in different ways like it could be like just work 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 and then turn over yeah but the, one of the things that we've also decided is like uh you know to the best of our ability helping people you know you know mm -hmm. training them even if they don't have the experience training them and getting to where they need to be because i know there's um and obviously we, we're more uh not, uh not the word is not lenient but more willing and able to help people more than maybe other companies would yep um and so like but yeah like how i was mentioning like for us when we you know continue to grow i think this culture is extremely like it's it's good yep. accountability everyone here is hard working everyone wants to um everyone here is tracked everyone wants to reach their goals um you know there's bonuses uh, but at the same time, you know, everyone gets along. There's no issues. And then we also do every quarter events. Like I know that this last quarter, because of we that was our best quarter ever, we went to bowling. Mm -hmm. I know the previous quarter, which was the best up to, until then, um, we went to Universal Studios. The previous one, which was also the best up until that point. Yep. Uh, where do we go? Paintball. Dave and Busters. Oh, yeah, Dave and Busters. Yeah, and then before that, yeah. we went to Paintball. Yep. And then before that, we've gone to Korean Barbecue. Korean Barbecue, yep. And so every quarter, we've had uh, fun events. And obviously, in between, we've you know gone out to for food, food like Buffalo Wild Wings, yep. this random diner in, uh, by the warehouse. And so I feel like those events really help in, in terms of like continually, continuously having the people get to know each other on a more personal level as opposed to just work, 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 work. And I think that builds big, uh, stronger connections and stronger bonds with people. Um, and in, in that, in our most recent situation where there was some tension, uh, I would say mostly caused by me, um, I think the, the events really helped cut that tension. Yeah. Um, For the people that went. For the people that went. But even then, I think because of the, like, the people who did go, I think, like, so they were, okay, so so just going into the, that um, particular situation, I know that around that time, right before the event, I know that there was a, you know, there was sickness, like, you know, I don't know. If cold flu. Cold flu. There was, there was that other one. The other one. The other one. It was going through, probably, more likely than not, we had it, because one of our people tested, uh, and they had it. Yep. So, more, and then I was the one. And then I, pretty much, I think I gave you and that individual. Yep. That. And so, he tested positive. So, it was that, right? And so, I know that there's still certain people that it's the end of the world when uh, when that happens. Um, and so, I know there was like, um, you know, some people, one left early because they felt unsafe. Um, and... And then there was, you know, some comments that were made, like, it would have been nice if you, you know, you would have mentioned it uh, before or if we would have known before. 
And then, and then there was miscommunication between myself, HR, and the person who had it. Like, who was going to tell? No one told anyone. We assumed that someone was going to tell yep. someone. No, nothing was mentioned. Yep. And so it kind of looked like we weren't, we didn't want to say it. Yep. And so I could see how they perceived that. Like, um, but you know, we mentioned, uh, we mentioned it eventually. Like, we could have easily kept it to ourselves. Yep. But uh, yeah, so people, uh, you know, those, those comments were made, and, and I, I personally it got to me like, okay, like. Okay, it would have been nice, but it didn't. Like there was communication. Like, what kind of what else do you want? Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. Like it is what. Like that's that. Like you know, we apologize. That's it. But then, like it, I think in total it was like four times from different people, and that kind of got to me. And so um, I reacted, and mm-hmm. I know I said a couple things that I probably shouldn't. Uh, not not in a bad way, but more. It was saying something along the lines like, "If you fall unsafe, um, you know, like we're willing to accommodate you. You know, we'll get you a hazmat suit." Um, and it wasn't sarcastic either. It was also with you know the intention of okay, like if you really like you want something like to um, to protect you, let's say you know. <laughs> the hazmat suit. Yeah, and so it's because you know, like okay, if you're really worried, then you know that's you know, that's, get that or something like that. Um, and and then from that and then it, you know like and we can't force people to wear yeah. masks yep uh and that's only because of california yeah yeah which the thing is that i don't think we well i actually have no idea uh it is what yeah. it is whatever point is that you know that kind of created a little bit of like a tension tension and then i know maybe a, a day or two afterwards uh we mentioned that you know like that um, well, we mentioned that we were, you know, the plan is still to go to Vegas. And then once we get to Vegas. Yeah, that it's not like California yep. where uh, there's a lot of strictness. There's a lot of still like policies, procedures and all these things. And even the, you know, the main main, uh, which, you know, it depends how much you, you know, you are willing to go by what they say um, or trust. Uh, I think it was CDC or CDC, whatever it is. Yep. And they mentioned that it's pretty much. Not that it's not. It's it's even them. They they say that it's like a cold, cold or, or flu. a flu. Yeah, and so it's like, uh, but I know that you know for four years, three four years, it was just hammered down to you like oh. it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. But that's just our perception. That's the thing. Like coming from our experience, because I know probably other people have different experiences where, let's say maybe they did have someone that's very sickly, um, and you know something bad happened. Yeah. So I I understand that, and so. I think with that, we're also coming from our point of view. Uh, we're young. We're relatively healthy. A lot of our family is, you know, pretty okay. And so it didn't really, you know, I don't want to say affect us, but it, it wasn't an issue per se for us. Um, for others, it might have been. And so, but and in my opinion, it's up to them to kind of take care of that then. Like, why does why do all of us have to, like, you know, be home or and, and so I, I get it like so if you and so that that's where my mentality came from like okay if you're really worried then stay home or why are you working here like go home like why are mm-hmm. you even outside like it's po- po- probably be outside like that was my frustration like then just you know deal with it and, and just kind of like and so th- that was my frustration and i think and so you know it showed in the in my tone and the way that i said things and going back to vegas you know like going there it's pretty much going to be treated like everything else. Someone has it. it will, well, I don't even know if we'll, we'll be able to know if someone has it. Yep. But it's, it's you're sick. Okay. That's that. Yeah. Uh, I, also, I also see their their point of view, though. Because uh, it's just, uh, I know the, the coffee. Because I know, like, yeah, germs are going to spread either way. But there's ways you can reduce it with maybe not coughing. Or not coughing in your hand. Or not coughing, like, out in the open. Maybe mm. covering yourself. Yeah. So I, I, I see that, that point of view. Yeah. But, and even before, you know, all this thing in 2020 that happened before that i was i'm not i'm not i wasn't a germaphobe but i was more of like um you know okay like if you're gonna sneeze or cough don't go like this because then you're gonna be touching everything else like before before 2020 like 20 like 2019 and before that, that's I'll, a pet peeve i have yeah uh-huh. like cough like this you're not gonna be able to touch anything like that like people <clears throat> i'm like it's everything's here yeah i've like, seen that at parties where people do that and then they just shake then, people's yeah, hands it's like, yeah so. it's like what the heck and then um i know that when people share foods like people mm. that I don't know, let's say, like I don't kind of really want to share foods with someone that I I do not know. Yep. And so that that's another one. And so if you, I was before all of this, I was I was like that. Yep. And so, uh, 
But I think as people took it to the extreme, yeah. it's because, again, I, I guess it's just repeating it. It went back to, like, for three to four years. It was just... So now they were at one pendulum where, like, oh, we're going to have waterfalls. We're going to share food. We're going to... Yeah. Like, I'm just going to cough, like, in my hands and shake people's hands, like, yeah. not even thinking about it. Because even in church, I know before, and this is just going off topic, but yeah. in church, they used to do, especially in the Catholic church, yeah. they used to do the, you know, how they drink the wine and then they take the the bread. Mm, okay. So they share the cup. So I, I but maybe I'm wrong, wow. but I think before they used to share the mm. cup, but now they stopped doing it completely because of COVID. And they still don't do it anymore. Yeah. And yeah, and I think it's because people went to like the other side of the pendulum. And that's what people, t I think that's human nature where yeah. you're on one side, it's like you're carefree, but then it gets hammered. You go way to the other side. Yeah. And so see, as, as we're talking, like because we've experienced so much, I think that's where the frustration came. And that's why like it was more of a reaction towards like the, everyone rather than, you know, thinking about it, like calmly, like what are the consequences? What are the things that could happen if we say certain things? Um, because it, it, it was really frustrating like yeah. everyone here from what I can see or tell it's young healthy-ish and I understand you have people at home then okay I, I understand that you know I, I understand all of that but then it's like uh, I mean and see and that's where the frustration came I guess we could go continuously forever um, we're going off topic but one, one thing I do want to say is that I just recently saw a podcast, uh, podcast with Tucker Carlson and this woman with mm. uh, I think her brother mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I was thinking, looking at the podcast and I'm like, huh? and you also told me about it. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to myself, like, hmm, because there was this one word or one sentence that the woman said that how she was raised, which that's how I'm planning to raise my daughter mm -hmm. is to ask questions, yeah. think for yourself 100%. and add value. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah, because if people ask questions, they think for themselves, like, I'm not going to listen to 100 percent of what the news is going to say or what other people are gonna say because people have something to gain by telling you certain things mm -hmm. for the most part yeah no yeah and so like see we like um, and this is going off topic on a random tangent way right right which is topic. building events um, <laughs> but and i guess we're trying to explain as to why like we had that reaction or that you know that kind of mindset is just so much frustration pent up and then certain people still like they're just and, and i get like i understand the, their point of view but it, it, it's also coming from our point of view it's like like it's it's so frustrating yeah because to get more context i understand like it's like me and you like let's just say i do something to you yeah and then it's like you telling me like oh it would have been nice if you didn't do this i'm like okay i'll, I'll try next time mm -hmm. oh but it would have been nice if you didn't do yeah. this and they say that like three or four times well i can't go back in time i can't do this yeah. so it's, it was more of like yeah, and, and so that's where the emotions come up. That's why maybe there were some things that were said in a certain tone. And it wasn't like in a bad tone. It's just like, okay, like, it is what it is. We're going to go to Vegas. It's going to be treated as a cult. If you don't like it, I recommend you stay here. That's that. And so pretty much that was the essence of it. Yep. And so I know that from that, there were certain people that for sure, they're out. Like, they're they're out. Um. Okay, one for sure. But the other ones, they, they they said it, but then it's like, okay, like, are you? Because I think it was more of on the spot and emotionally. Like, they, you know, we said mm -hmm. they kind of probably reacted and thought to. Yep, reciprocated. Yeah. And so there was a tension. And for like a, a week, I would say, was it a week? Let's just say a week, right? A week. Yeah. Th there was that, you know, like, uneasiness. Tension, uneasiness. Tedium. Like, this is how they think. Like, probably the people thinking to us, like, this is how they think. Like, they don't care about us. Like, really, you're, you don't, you're not concerned for our safety, which we are. That's the thing. We are to, you know, to the best of our ability and our knowledge. Um, uh, and then, you know, like, for us, like, okay, they're a little probably feeling a certain way. So maybe now communicating that, you know, t towards people as maybe before. And so there was kind of like that tension. Um, but one of the good things that was going to happen was we were going to have that quarterly Events. event, yep. which was bowling. And the thing is that I do believe that certain people didn't or a person or whoever, you know, people, someone didn't or some people didn't go to the events because of that. Yep. One of our guys probably still had it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but yeah, the, I think most most people went yep i think most people went more than half of the people went and they brought a plus one most people brought a plus one so it was still a pretty packed house um and so in that event you know it was outside of work it was outside of the you know that you know tension of that disease or whatever it was yep uh and so you know everyone was pretty much talking yep. with each other we were bowling we were having fun yep um and so it kind of like 
I think everyone forgot about it. I think everyone did forget yep. about it. Like there was really no concern from anyone from yep. what I could tell. Yep. And so the fact, you know, we were bowling, we were having fun, we were talking and whatnot. Um, it just kind of like broke that uneasiness. It kind of like, I know because uh, some of the production were saying like, oh, like we already know what we're taking for like the, we have rewards and mm-hmm. stuff from like, or free gifts from Uline. And yep. so like someone won or people were winning in order and they know, people knew what they were going to take. And so, you know, you know, they were talking about that. And so it, it just kind of like. People forgot about it. That broke it. Like yep. it, it broke the tension for the people that did go. Yep. Um, and so that's one of the good aspects of having like uh, events. Events. And it doesn't have to be like bowling or it doesn't have to be universals or paintball. It could be as simple as going to lunch together. Yeah. Lunch. I was going to say picnic, but I mean. Uh, or a beach day. Beach day. Beach day. Park. Uh, you know. Game sports. night. Yeah. Game Video night. Video games. If people like that. Yeah. Board games. And so that was um yeah because those events again that was good on that situation to just ease the tension for it, for everything to go back to how it was before for the most part but then like how you mentioned it's also good to break the ice for people to get to know each other for the camaraderie to start building yeah. the collaboration because i know there's also some other situations where not necessarily in that example but i know for example and let's say you, you don't necessarily get along with someone and i think i've seen that that where someone doesn't get along but when it's they're taken out of that environment to a different one where it's more fun it's more like just you know just there to you know mango and whatnot it's kind of like they like set in a different environment it kind of breaks it, it's a different environment yep. I, don't, I don't know how to explain it and so yep. like you know they start getting along and then back at work oh do you remember when you know we yep. you know let's say let's say bowling like oh yeah like i, I beat you or something yep. like so it kind of like took them from that's not so good to this good environment which they got along and then it kind of brought them back to the you know yep. uh, to the, the bad environment but because of their connection that they had it's all good now yep um and so you know that that happened it broke the tension for us yep. and i know coming back the people that didn't go to an extent there was still some like tension but because of the other people that you know were there they you know they were joking about it they, they talked about it and it kind of like their attitude their environment yep. their aura their like about the event yep they kind of like dissipated th- this dissipated the, the rest of like the tension it's like yep. okay, okay like you can't be in a good and positive environment and be like negative 100% of the, I, I feel like yep. it's, it's hard to do yep. so they kind of broke the rest of the people's um, yep. feelings tension towards that and so um, yeah I, I feel like everything is back to normal back, yeah. and, and so back to normal back to working accountability Everyone's talking to each other, joking again. Yep. I know in that week, no one joked with each other. Yep. I didn't joke with anyone. Yep. Uh, so that was good. That was good. And so, you know, that that's how, you know, at, at least in that example, that helped with the company culture. And at the same time, uh, it's it, it's a good reward or benefit or, or giving them, you know, feedback on the, you know, on the good that they're doing because we have those because pretty much every quarter for the last let's say a couple of years have has been our best quarters yep. and so you know a kind of a reward um you know for them doing good and so then you know having that you know they want to continue having those kind of things so yep. like they want to continue doing those the good things that do in order to have those um and so that that's how we use the events. quarterly events yep or events in general yeah because yeah, i know cause we have even going out to yeah, going out and, and whatnot so i think those are really good really good but uh i don't know do you have anything else said yeah so real quick uh i know we talked about the fun stuff how that could build company culture or if there's any tension how it could break it Mm -hmm. but at least on the accountability side let's say i have a company the culture is good or maybe even the culture isn't the best Mm -hmm. like nothing is going well for that company Mm -hmm. let's just say i have that company right Mm -hmm. okay now i know that if i want to start building the teamwork the camaraderie breaking tensions maybe do events or take people out to lunch mm-hmm. how do we build up the the culture of the accountability the 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 work ethic the goals how, how would someone like if they have a company who is just like every like the company you work for mm-hmm. remember how you said yeah. that it was like very like friendly it was easy going yeah. but nothing was getting done and nope. then you like you were putting your hard work you were getting frustrated mm-hmm. someone had that same situation i guess what's one of the things people could do on the accountability side on the work side okay on the accountability and the work side is pretty much and it's and it's kind of like 
when you read something you understand it but you don't fully understand Rest, it yep. until you experience it and I, I know that uh you know after going through it it's pretty much on the book traction which is everyone has a number yep. everyone's getting tracked on certain things on certain metrics so everyone has a number i think it was on traction on the book traction um everyone has a, so everyone is tracked everyone is measured and everyone has goals that they want to hit and that they should hit yep um and so you know starting from there have everyone have a number and have goals and have everyone hit it um, and then from that, just implementing it. Because yep. from the, from our experience, there's really no just right way of doing it. Because no. one of the things is that pe- some people are not going to like it. And some people probably are going to leave. Because yep. I can imagine us implementing like that, you know, the accountability and tracking and everything in, let's say, another company. And a lot of people are going to leave. Either yep. they're, they're not the right fit. Like for us, when we started changing or adapting our business to what it need, needed to be, um, there was two people that we had to, you know, let go. Yep. Um, same thing. So, so we might have to let go. You, you know, someone might have to let go of people, and some people might live on their own because they probably really like the environment, but they don't really like the hard work that yep. that the also. Pressure. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't like that, um, and so the expectation should be that you know, not not the expectation, but it's a very good uh, chance that not everyone is gonna like it, and some people might leave. But the thing is, just like. Okay, you know, this is something that, you know, we need to start doing in order for the business to continue growing or for the business to continue, you know, staying ahead. And so, you know, and this is going to be a benefit, you know, and then and then also telling them like, because when we told them about the accountability, when we had the quarterly meeting, we told them that, um, you know, for the growth, that's why we are doing it. And why is it important? The growth important. It's for also for the people. Yep. So they have room for growth because if the company is here. Yep. Pretty much people are limited to that. But if the company grows, then everyone is able to also continue going up. And so, you know, uh, let him know why it's good for them, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think from that, I think people are a lot more accepting. Like I think, I think everyone here was very yep. accepting. And it definitely did change the environment slightly in the sense of, like, before there was a lot of more distractions. A lot yep. of, like, just, you know, like, for some people, if it gets done, it gets done. Um, so there was some of that. But now it's more like everyone really wants to reach their goals. Like even I even see that there's times when we're not here and things still are they pretty like they yep. get done. They're like not that it's quiet, but it ha- that's another thing. It has become a lot. I'm not gonna say a lot more quiet, but it has become more quiet. But because people are focused. Because people are focused. Um. So it's on. It's up to them really, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Um. And so, just implementing. Maybe some people are gonna leave. Maybe you had to let go of people. But uh, just implement, telling them that why it's gonna be good, and and just doing it. Uh, metrics, you track them, you set goals, and then you, uh, what do you call it? You just follow up mm-hmm. on on those. Like where are you at? Not like that, but in a sense, like okay, are you hitting your goals? Where are you at? Where are you hitting your goals? Um, and the more frequently you could give them uh, feedback on that, the better. Like for us, also we switched from, um, from I, I think every two weeks feedback, to I think to, not to I think pretty much almost every day, and and also like it not it doesn't necessarily have to be from person to person, but also just every day for most people at the end of the day we're able to see yep. where they're at in their numbers, and so that's yep. just instant feedback that they get, yep. and they see like okay it's above like the good or it's below the good, and so yep. it's quickly feedback. But I mean, uh, so yeah, so that's how you can implement. Uh, you know, from our experience, the um, you know that 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 uh, culture of accountability, hard work, and reaching goals. Yep. Um, yeah, pretty simple. No. And then the other one is, is I think it's a lot easier because everyone wants to wants to have fun. Well, yeah, everyone wants to. Yep. So, we reach this goals. Let's go to you know the yeah. investors. Well, one thing I will say is that I think some people are just not a fit even with the like the fun side because there's yeah. some people like they just and that's because i worked at like warehouses mm-hmm. i worked at the supermarket i worked at certain places where people just i don't know people no, just, and, and that's 100 percent true because i was like that like uh there was um a couple of, yeah a couple of companies you know they did have events uh you know very rare but i, I feel like i was a really hard and fast worker mm-hmm. but the thing is that I, and there was a lot of reasons why. Like I know for one, like I didn't want to lose parking. I don't want. I don't want to park. I don't want to travel. Back then we were struggling trying to pay back our debt, so I don't want to spend more if if I had to pay. Like I don't want. I don't want to. And so you know, those some of those events I didn't go to. Um, so 
I used to be like that too. And so, uh, you know, then you might have someone like I, I, I guess, I guess at least uh, back then, someone like me. Yeah, uh, and I think that's everyone when they're young, because yeah. as a young person, you're focused, you have certain goals that you're like, I don't need to work with anyone, I don't need to, yeah. so it's more of the growth that mm-hmm. happened yeah. in our age and then our career development. 100%, yeah, and so yeah, that last part is simple, uh, but yeah, do you have anything else to add? No, it's going to be repeating the same thing, yeah. so, no, but <laughs> or I mean, going off tangents. Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, I mean, you said everything. I said everything. Uh, and so with that being said, this has been another episode of Driven. My name is Juan. My name is Alexis. And we'll see you on the next one.